All right, so we're doing a revision on a solid geometry that is sectioned. Sectioned meaning it has a cutting line going through it. This one I'm going to be doing a left view and a top view. All right, so number one is I need my X, Y lines. My left view, we look from the left and we draw on the right. The top view, we look from the top and we draw on the bottom. We are doing it in first angle. So I draw my X, Y lines. Doesn't matter where, like how far, as long as one is going that way and one goes this way. In the exam, you will be given one that's already drawn for you. Okay. So let's do the left view first. We take all our points across lightly. Okay, then we label. It's very important that you guys label. If you don't, you are 99.9% .9 definitely going to get it wrong. Okay, then you follow your labels down. This becomes A slash B and A slash B, C slash F, slash F, D and E. Okay. Then you take a compass. We are measuring how far each of the points on the top view are from its X, Y. Please don't make the mistake and do it from drawing to drawing. Okay, it is from X, Y in line with that point. Like that. Okay, then we follow our point. That's point A, so we follow. Oh, I haven't made long enough X, Y. So we measured A from the XY, we followed A's point, follow it, XY point. Okay, that's not the only A, this is also an A point, right? Then I go to B, XY, open to B, follow B's point, follow, follow, XY, B. So you're going x, y to point, follow x, y to point. Okay, but there's the other B, x, y to point. Next I'll do C. Follow C, x, y, make a point. Follow C, x, y, make a point. Okay, D from X, Y in line with D, D follow D, X, Y point, X, Y point, E, X, Y to E, follow E, are you guys remembering this? Mm -hmm. Yes, anyone? Yes. Yep. Right. And then F. X, Y, open to F. Follow F. X, Y, F. Follow F. X, Y, F. Right, now I've got all my points. Now it's best to label these points as well. So this is A, B. Then it's C, then it's D and E, and then F, okay, as well as the bottom ones. A, B, C, D, E, F. All right. Now, if you look at your top view, you'll see A connects to B. Therefore, our A needs to connect to B. Now we do it lightly at first guys, because we aren't sure what's staying, what's going, what's behind, what's in front. Okay? You see it goes A to B to C, D, E, F, back to A. 
So we do the same. C to E. D to E. E to F. F back to starting point A. Alright. Same for the bottom. Alright, then we also need to see that A connects to A, B connects to B, C connects to C. They all connect to each other. So A to A. But remember, we're still going lightly. D to D. E to E. F to F. Right, so we have a 3D, very light, solid. Now we need to cut it. Okay, how do we cut? Anywhere that the cutting line cuts over our lines, we take it straight across. Now, if we look here, it says it's cutting between AA as well as BB. So we follow its point. There's AA and BB. Okay. And then cut through CC and FF. Follow. There is CC. There is FF. Right. And lastly, it cuts through DD and EE. So I follow the cutting line. EE, DD. And now I can join. When you join them, you can do a dark because this is the cut and it's definitely there. Right. Now, how do I know which parts need to be dark and which parts need to be hidden detail? This is a left view. So I'm looking from the left hand side. Now I need to imagine myself sitting here. Can I see? A to F. Okay, you can also imagine yourself here. You can see A to F. Okay, you can imagine yourself looking here. So A to F is definitely there. Cool. Then, can I see F to E? If I'm standing here, okay. I probably, ah yes, okay, just a trick, if it is slanted away from you, if you are standing on the left and it slants away from you, you will be able to see the whole part of the bottom, but not the top, the whole bottom, therefore, you will see the whole bottom. It's all about visualizing, guys. If it's behind, we don't see it. So if I'm looking this way and it's behind, I don't see it. Now, am I going to see F to F? Or up to the cut, at least. F is over here. If I was looking this way, yes, I would be able to see F. So F becomes dark. Right. Would I be able to see, what's the next one, E to E, E, sorry, here's E, E to E, no, I would not be able to, okay, so technically that should become hidden detail, okay, then I go D to D, I will not be able to see D to D, it's behind, Therefore, it's hidden detail. Would I be able to see? C to C. You see? Yes, I would be able to see the C. See the C. Uh -huh. Okay. Would I be able to see B to B? B to B. Let's see. 
B2B. Yes, I will be able to see B2B. So, I would actually be able to see there to there. You see the rest of the B is actually cut off. So I can only take the B up to the cutting plane or the cut piece. I can't go further because that part doesn't exist. It's been cut off. Um, where am I now? A to A. Yes, I will be able to see A to A. But I will only be able to see it up to the cut piece. Then I need a 45. 45. Thank you. Why do I use a 45? I use it to hatch. And we hatch single hatching, a medium weight, meaning a medium darkness, only on the cut section to show the marker that this is the piece that is cut. Right, now we're going to do the top view. Remember, we look from the top, but we draw at the bottom. So I've got my XY line. Okay, and I take my points straight down. You will not be given XY lines, you have to draw them in. For the top view, it's a straight across one. Okay, you can do it a centimeter away if you want. For the left view, it's a straight across up. Okay, do it a little bit further away so that we don't go straight into the top view. Right, then I do the exact same thing. From X, Y, open to A. On the top view, follow A. X, Y, make a point, follow A, X, Y, make a point, X, Y, open to B, follow B, X, Y, to point, follow B, X, Y, to point. Please be careful, don't put your point, your X, Point here and then try and open to C. Okay, it has to be in line. All right, open to C, follow C, X, Y, point, follow C, X, Y, point, D, follow D, X, Y, point. Follow D, X, Y, point. Okay. E, point. X, Y, point. X, Y, point. F. Right, so now I've got all my points. Okay, now again I'm going to label them. It's A, B, C, D, E. Okay. Then is A. No, I just made a mistake. I'm very sorry. Then it's going to be A, B, C, D, E, F. Do you notice they're very, very close here? 
Don't get confused like I did. Follow your lines. Don't label it wrong. Okay, then we join. Remember, you do it lightly first because we're not sure what's going to be cut. Now, you see it? Don't go straight there because you think it's there. That's B of the other one. Go to D. They are going to overlap. D to E. D to F. And F back to A. Okay, do the same thing this side. Remember, here's the A. It's overlapping. A to B. B to C. To B, D to E, to F, and then back to A. Okay, be aware, it's not to E, it's to the A. Right, and then we know that they all link to each other, so C links to C. B links to B. to cut it I do the same thing anywhere that my cutting line overlaps I bring it down okay now this one cuts AA and BB so there's AA there's BB this one cuts over CC and FF Follow this FF and this CC. This one cuts DD and EE. This EE. This DD. Now you connect. Don't panic at this point. At this point, it looks like a bunch of lines. Do not panic. Follow your lines. If I am to look from the top, okay, I see the whole cut. Yes, great. Am I going to see point? Where's A? Let's start A. Am I going to see A to A? Yes, I'm going to see that little piece. So I'm at the top here. There's nothing blocking me from seeing that. So, A to A, up until the cut, guys. Do not go past the cut. Am I going to see B to B? Yes, I'm going to see it up until the cut. Am I going to see F to F? Yes, I will. Up until the cut. C to C is also going to be up until the cut. Alright? D... To D, if I look at the top, okay, D doesn't stick out, it's all the way at the back, okay, therefore I'm not going to see the D to D. So D to D would be hidden detail in the background, okay. E to E, it's also behind the cut, I won't see it, therefore E to E is also going to be hidden detail. Then I can join it on the bottom. Right, there it is. Now, don't forget, you always get marks for hatching. Medium weight, meaning medium darkness, 45 degree angle, just on the cut. Done.